shut up once I can vote. People around here come in just for those. Come now, don't doubt yourself. That looks excellent on you. Make this country a real democracy. Stop disqualifying half the population. We are women. So, what do you think? Wearing it out? Let me vote. Let me vote. Let me vote. Please, peruse at your leisure. I carry only the finest items. That's it for now. I'm conversing with uh, Jean-Michel on the promenade, and some grubby little fellow asked if I was speaking Italian. This land of equality is a sham and a disgrace. Big loss on the river folk. Howdy, sir. I had to leave my damn pocket watch. That's just life, I guess. Well, I'll be goddamn. Welcome. 
Here for a show? Take it for one, please. Head straight through those double doors. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, welcome, welcome everyone. I am your host, Aldridge T. Abington. Thank you. Yes, Aldridge T. Abington. Few men have had a career more crowded with incident and various intercourse with the world than I. During extensive travel through this and foreign lands, I have procured a show so fantastical, there exists nothing like it, anywhere. In an effort to bring this entertainment to even the poorest dreamer of dreams, I have determined the ticket price should be very low and the show held without a profit to me. It's true, for it is blessing enough to bring these gifted artists ah. to you. I discovered this next act in a tiny village in Italy. Truly the most exotic of places in the world. He was just a ten-year-old boy. I raised him. I bathed him. I shaved him from head to toe. He is truly a Get wonder off. to behold. Presenting Benjamin Lazarus! Welcome! Welcome! Welcome to my incredible display of dark arts and mystical prowess, my dear ladies and gentlemen. Now, it's unfortunate fact that in this mortal coil we are all born to suffer from all manner of maladies in daily life. Who here has not had a friend or loved one near death's door from coal gas fumes, typhoid fever, diphtheria, or the bite of a rabid animal? The greatest wealth is your health. All the gold in the world cannot purchase it, and yet it is the most delicate and tenuous of all life's gifts. And nothing knocks down death's door faster than this. <laughs> a man cannot outrun a bullet. Many fools have tried and failed in this endeavor, including the tonic salesman I call setting my wife. I joke. I joke. <laughs> I assure you, he has met his maker and they are playing gin rummy among the molten lava of Hades. I have traveled all around the world, this delighting young and old with all manner of feats of amazement, but none are as dangerous as what I am prepared to attempt tonight. I can't wait. I will hand this D.D. Packenbush revolver over to my assistant and stand at considerable distance across the stage. She will point the revolver at my head and pull the trigger using lightning quick reflexes taught to me by a tiny man I met in the distant orient. I will catch the bullet in my teeth. Bring out some yes. my teeth. To prove that these are indeed live rounds, if my sharpshooting assistant would be so kind as to shoot this bottle of Lally Cola off my head. This is insane. Yeah! Off my this head. So Careful. I could do without a bullet in the brain right now. Okay. Oh my God. Come on. Oh my God. Ooh, sweet What's Jesus. Going on here? Oh my God. Wow. 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 That, that always scares me. <laughs> now, 
Observe, as I, the great Benjamin Lazarus, will do what no man has ever done and cheat this is a hell of a show! As if it were nothing. What is he doing? Christ. Mate! Let's do that again. Hmm? Right. Hmm. Oh, I can't take it. How about this? You're pulling my leg. This is a bunch of dang balderdash. Ah. Oh, damn. <laughs> a skeptic. Hmm? I'm trying huh. to watch the show. And Benjamin Lazarus. I assure you, I am not participating in some hoax or carnival ruse. These bullets are 100% real. Wow. In fact, I challenge any member of the audience to come forward with their own firearm, and I will yet again display my uncanny skill to catch a bullet in my Did teeth. Did you hear that? Right, Fantastic. Yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I will prove to you I am the greatest entertainer to ever live and the only man who laughs at death. Now, ready? Take aim. Just an illusion, after all. of incredibility. I told you that boy would bring you all manner of personal satisfaction. He certainly does me. That's <laughs> it. Now, I discovered this next remarkable woman in a lost jungle, <laughs> deep in the wilds of Colombia, where they do not wear clothes. She breathes fire. Yes, she does. And for those with the universal and not unworthy curiosity, yes, I can attest, she does emit fire from almost every orifice in her body. <laughs> Presenting Antoinette San Serino!
wonderful! Oh! Incredible! It's still hot in here, huh? <laughs> Incredible! Bravo! Though I must warn you, court her at your peril. She'll not nurse babies, she'd turn them into bacon! <laughs> Let's see. Thank you! Thank you. He liked that joke. Yes. I discovered this next woman in the kingdom of Poland, where she sang by the roadside, subsisting on coppers tossed at her feet. Miss Robin Kaminsky! Thanks for joining us today. This here was a new song about a so-called modern improvement you may have become aware of called the telephone. Yeah! This new machine will carry a facsimile of your voice from Blackwater to Valentine to San Denis, and they propose to distribute them to all manner of places so that no matter where you are, somebody is looking for you. A wise man prayed that one day we may all eventually be gathered together in a heaven of everlasting rest and peace and bliss, except for the inventor of the telephone, because someone is always calling, saying, Hello! 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 I've got a little baby, but he's out of sight. I talk to him across the telephone I can't see my honey but he's mine all right This gal just can't leave a man alone Every single morning you will hear me yell He sent you fix me up along the line They connect me with my honey and I ring my bell And this is what I say to baby Blackwater calling. Hello. This morning through the phone they said he'd been with Bess and told me exactly where he's at. Now I'm headed out of town to his address. That man better hold on to his hat. I sure do worry that the wires might get crossed and it will separate me from tune. She is a siren singing from the rocks as men bash into them to their doom. Thank you for joining me for tonight's entertainment. I hope it has delayed for at least a moment the crushing and well, remorseless right. misery of this mortal coil. Good night. Dream well and come back soon.
Mm. Just uh, cool in your heels by the theater? Yeah. Move it! How's your name? What with the cook again today? What do you want, boy? This is private property. Interlopers are not from. This here the Gray Plantation? Yep. Caliga Hall. And that's as close as you're getting to it. Sheriff's orders. 
If you wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property, I'm recently deputized, you see. Deputized? And I suppose Lee was drunk when he did it? Look, you can come in, but you ain't talking with me. Obliged. <coughs> you coming in or what? Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. <laughs> love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved. <laughs> Gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always got money. No brains mine, but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Oh, look out for their guards. They're worse with strangers than ours are. So long, and good luck. I 
should really appreciate you taking those to her. You better follow that order, right? <laughs> It's okay, girl.
Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. it's not from me. It's from... Uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange. <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the dark ages or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit, but here. If you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. Come on, my girl. Eleven, two, uh, one, two, ten, three, five, eight, 
start. One, two, three, four, seventeen, twenty-nine, thirteen. Five, nine, one, 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 two, three, seven, six, three, five, eleven, two, one, two, ten, three, four, five, eight, thirteen, fourteen, one, one, two, one, two, three, four. Hmm. One, two, three, four, seven, three, six. One, two, three, four, five, seventeen, three, four, seventeen, twenty-nine, thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, seventeen, eight, nine, three. One, two, four, seven, five, nine, one. One, 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 two, three. business coming through. <laughs> Enough trouble in this town without people wearing masks and making more. Remove that from your face, there will be trouble, you hear?
You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah. Uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. My God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Mount up, all right. And follow me to Rhodes. Come on! Come on! Yeah! We'll go around the property and take the road to town. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There, there they are. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. Do what? Fight this mob? They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what, your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun, Miss Calhoun, my friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun, normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a... Protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food and we fetch the water. Singing songs of now, freedom now. and glory. Be. Take us down Main Street, and right through town to the steps of the back of roads, Mr. What yeah, was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it, all right. We sing for suffrage for women to be free. A ballot for the ladies, a vote for you and me. This is our cry of freedom. Our power is not small. For women's equal liberty, this is the call. Huzzah! Very good. Very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Or maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. But I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Why ever have you stopped? Look at these people. 
It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. This is our cry of freedom. Our power is not small. For women's equal liberty, this is the call. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. We cook the food and we fetch the water Singing songs of freedom and glory be Fair women of the line, come join with me We're mothers standing on our own two legs They answer us with tomatoes and eggs We have a better home, our heart is for the truth For the suffrage, for the suffrage, our folk for mothers too You damn us all with this sin! You damn us all! You sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the male of the species. Yeah, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant. Oh, Take us just a little further, please. Those are the steps, Mr. Morgan. Stop in front there, and then all you need to do is listen. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies, get down! Come on, boys! Come on, Go home! Shut your mouth! What the hell is going on? Well, man, oh my God! Stop singing, causing all this trouble. You're a fool! And gentlemen, yeah. well, this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. Oh. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals! Oh. Ah. Yes, equals, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Fair, equal, and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Yeah. 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 Founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers, you hey, silly old goat. His philosophy hey. dependent Shh. on biology. Sir. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always will. Bo, little... why don't we just leave him? Oh, who the hell is this? You speak harsh about my Follow me, Ron. Oh, or what? You'll hit me? <gasps> Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We are all Americans. All we gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. America. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. And we have built. But you don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you? I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't, right? You know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This 
is awful. Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... Artistic temperament, so... Well, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Uh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me.